In the LaTeX Beamer document, we may want to highlight some of our text in a way different to just using a different font or a different color. So what we can do is to create a box and put the text within there and have a header on the box which has got a color background. Beamer is based on the PGF graphics package for LaTeX and as such it's got these environments already defined within the system so there's not a great deal that we need to do to add one to our presentation. Now due to the fact that there's a mathematical background to LaTeX as it was written primarily to allow typesetting of documents with a lot of mathematics in them a number of these environments are to do with theorems, corollaries, proofs etc. There is also a definition environment which we may want to use in this particular presentation. So on our slide on histograms we make use of the definition environment with our begin definition and end definition and within there we put the text or other LaTeX commands that we want to appear within this particular definition. So once we put our text in there, so we've got a simple paragraph here, we we'll use PDF LaTeX to create our PDF document and then we open this document up and we can take a look at what Beamer has done in this situation. So if we go to the base graph section and go through a couple of pages, we'll now see that we've got this box on our page and we've got a colored title and that's currently in line with the title that appears at the top of the page. So we've got a purple background and white text and then a slightly shaded background for the region where we've actually got the text that appears in the box. So what we might also want to do is if we moved on to the next slide, which is to do with scatter plots, we again put in a definition, but it's in this case only a single sentence, as we don't want to take up too much of the slide with our definition here. So we've got the begin definition and end definition environment statements. But then what we're also going to do is put in a block of R code. So the example block can be used if we want to create a similar block of text, so a box here with a color title, and then we've got the name that we want to appear at the top of that in curly brackets after the example block statement. So we're using the verbatim environment because we just want to have some computer code that looks like it was um, produced in a typewriter font, so in line with how it would appear on the console. And because we're putting verbatim text in, we need to put in this fragile argument when we're creating our frame. Now we've also got a pause statement in here because we want to make use of the um, pause option so we can reveal bits and pieces on our slides incrementally. So if we bring up our slide and move on to the next page, we'll see that first of all, when we move on to this slide for scatter plots, we simply have the definition which we put in there, the single sentence. And then when we move on to the next page, we get the next part of the slide reveal, which is this R code. And it's got a different colored title because we're using a different environment here. And as you can see, the font is different due to the fact that we were using the verbatim environment within R.